Welcome to Dr. Jester Runt, and I'm still ranting without my goddamn fucking adapter. Because this little shit over here broke. Apparently it arrives today, so probably tomorrow I'll be back like my normal self. Well, goddamn cat fur. Anyway, where was I? Oh, right, right, I'm supposed to be ranting about something. Right, so bound into comics after retconning Tim Drake's Robin and making him attracted to men, DC Comics promotes him as part of their quote Pride celebration. End quote. Well, I'm going to go and uh, ask you something. Is there any straight superhero left on DC now? Uh, I would even go also Marvel, but I'm pretty sure Spider-Man is still straight, and Iron Man, and well, the original Iron Man, and not the Black Woman Ixon of Color Ixon Iron Man. Um, probably Thor, but not the Femme Thor. So. Well, anyway, on DC Comics at this point, probably the original Green Lantern. Let's see. Probably the original Flash, but Barry Allen, but I'm pretty sure it may be going gay soon. And Batman. There you go. <sighs> That's about it. That I'm relatively sure. The only one I am 100% sure is Batman. Everything else? No. But then again, I'm saying original Green Lantern, original Flash. So, you know, the new ones. But I'm reasonably sure Batman's still straight. Hey. It's interesting, isn't it? Because they are supposed to be the minority, they don't even make up, what, 1-5% of the American population, even less, or thereabouts, and uh, worldwide population in on itself is less than 1%, I think. They are the outliers, that doesn't mean they are bad, that doesn't mean it's wrong, I am pro-alphabet people. I support their rights. I suppose I support their rights to marry, to adopt children, and all of those things. I support transgender rights and all that. But what they are doing now is just overwhelmingly overrepresentation on the media, and that is just not the right thing to do. It's not reflecting reality. You are erasing and damaging things. Create new characters, do something new. That is the correct approach. But that would, of course, require creativity. That would also require ability to think. And we all know these people are incapable of doing all of those things. We know they have never been able to be creative. They are creatively bankrupt, as I like to say. They are um, idiots. Mm. Or they think that the new characters will not sell because of diversities and they themselves would not consume the new character. So what do they do? <clears throat> the either race, gender or alphabet wash a character and then and then Call everyone else who disagrees with it, bigots. Obviously, they are trying to ride the coattails of the old character to try and get fame. Because they already have a pre-established name. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? Let's go and read this. DC Comics is going all in on the retconning of Batman's sidekick. And Robin, Tim, Drake, the fabulous... And now they are using the character as part of the virtual signal for what they are calling DC's 2022 Pride Celebration. 
Drake will feature will be featured in a new one-shot titled DC Pride Team Team Drake Special. Oh, for the love of God, damn fucking God! Ah. Anyway, DC Comics writer Megan Fitzmartin, Bell and Ortega. I don't even care. Ian Batman Urban Legend is number six after defeating Chaos Cult. Rescuing his friend Bernard, the story concludes with Drake showing up at Bernard's house. Team Day, do you want to go on a date? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I need to do this properly. <laughs> Let me go and invoke the gay! Hey, Sam, do you want to go on a date with me? Uh, yeah, I think I want that. <laughs> Isn't Team Drake like a woman? Is pretty... Or am I confused with that? Oh, yes, he is. He had a girlfriend and all that. Oh, well, well. Hmm. Anyway. However, they also note special feature a brand new story that sees Tim teaming up with his young... With his former young Justice teammates and the bad girl. Oh, for the love of God. Ah. These people are creatively bankrupt and they expect us to actually like it. Along with Tim Drake, when Sean DC Comics announced that they will be introducing a brand new character... In Galaxy, the prettiest star, Jadzia Axelrod. Oh, so the Lord. That person actually spent way too much time actually watching Deep Space Nine. <clears throat> and had a crush on Jadzia Dax. Anyway, the new character is Taylor, the Galaxy Crown, DC Comics. <sighs> oh, wait. So, who the fuck named that person? Holy shit, ever. By Jadzia Axelrod. Fuck myself. Is that a, a name that came up or some parent actually named a person like that? Holy moly! Anyway, along with a new graphic novel, DC Comics will be giving away a free preview of the graphic. Don't, uh, don't care, the book has been described as a metaphor for transness. Oh, for the love of God! By Supergirl and transgender actor Benjamin Mains, who now calls himself... Herself? Nicole Mains. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, I was right. So, The Flash and Green Lantern were all um, gay now. Or Colorixen or whatever. And what the fuck is wrong with the, with the legs? This looks like a. Yeah, it looks like Timmy. No, no, not Timmy. Jimmy. Jimmy from South Park. <laughs> what a terrific audience. <laughs> yeah, it looks like his legs. It looks like his legs. Holy shit. What the fuck? How the fuck draw this? You know what? I'm gonna go right ahead and also use a plug here for another channel, but... First of all, I wouldn't mind if the noob review actually peeled a page or pulled a page out of that comic. One, two, three, or all of them. Yeah, I'm making a joke here. In reference to a new YouTube channel that you actually go and should check it out. And she is great. She is new in all of this in comics. Also in YouTubing. But, <clears throat> but also on... All the comics and all that stuff. Check out her first video, you'll understand why she is new on all of this. And it it gives us a different perspective. You go in, most of us, even us from Hughes vs. Babyface and Yellow Flash and etc. We all are familiar with all of this stuff because we grew up on that stuff for ages. But uh, she didn't. So everything here is new for her. And it gives you a new perspective, something different that the other channels, even I, cannot of offer. And her content is very, very wholesome. She reviews the comics, she, so, uh, she shows what she bought, reviews the comics. There was one incident in regards to a page, Pauline, that I made a reference right here that my face ended up being... Yeah. Uh, the, him, suffered a little because that hurt me more than I cared to admit. It made me suffer. Ha! Huh. I, I, I felt pain seeing that page being torn. 
<laughs> but overall, go check out her channel. Her content is awesome. Go and subscribe to her. This one I'm using in my alternate YouTube account because the, uh, I'm using a different browser from the one that I actually use to browse other YouTube channels and upload my content on my channel. So, anyway, yeah, go and check her out. It's She's called The Noob Review. <clears throat> Go check out. I'm gonna leave the address down below so you go on and check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Do you understand? Do not forget! I'm watching you, you bastards! I'm in it! Mm. Right. Who was I? Just making sure I didn't dox myself with a YouTube because YouTube sometimes likes to go. Sh Go ape shit insane. Anyway, where was that? Right. So, anyway, where, 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 right. So, 104 pages that the noob review can actually pull. And nobody will care. In fact, we will even celebrate because they are all garbage. They will do very bad toilet paper, though, because they are pretty rough. They are not very good to collect shit in the butt. But, uh, hey. It's the only use I can see of out of this 104-page comic that will definitely not sell beyond, what, 10,000 issues or less or thereabouts? Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure because uh, Superman, the gay Superman, barely sold, what, 30,000, give or take? I don't remember the exact number, but it was utterly pathetic. Uh. Anyway, the comic will have an introduction by mains and feature a main cover by a few minutes like don't care. Include the following stories. Uh, let's see, you and back here, but uh, Aquaman Jackson and now Green Lan Oh, for the love of God. Is uh, Aquaman, there is another Aquaman and he is gay too. Green Lantern gay, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, somehow, somewhere these idiots actually think these two would actually go and become another date when in fact that never was because of, oh good lord. The Ray by the Greg, the Superman but, and John Kent are not gay, Team Drake, the person who used to have a lot of girlfriends and is now a gay guy. The comic also features contributions from J. Rob saying, no, 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 no. Hey, <clears throat> at least the coloring here is not too bad, but the drawing here of her mouth here looks a bit off. But overall, at least they respected the curves that you expect from a woman, so... <clears throat> at least that, but uh, the amount of rainbow propaganda over here is absurd. Rainbow over here, rainbow over here, rainbow over here, rainbow over here, uh, rainbow over here. Uh, what else? More rainbows? No. I think we are good. We're good. Hi. I'm having an allergy crisis. Right. You see, Comics also published a new Poison Ivy series, and you knew uh, the Queen of Amos. Oh, for the love of God! The Poison Ivy series will, will be written by Jay Will Wilson. I don't care. The official description says he had a new story. Ivy leaves. Gotham City sets out to complete her greatest work, a gift to the world that will heal the damage humanity has to, has to dealt to it. Wait, has to deal the da heal the damage humanity has dealt to it. They, they know it will be a six issue story arc. Well, at least they are going small in quantity. But at least that, but uh, let me just go and say that this is historically incorrect. Because. The entire, the Amazon's entire thing in there is based on Greece, and Greece, at least at the height of its empire and creation and all of that stuff, was prior to the even the discovery of the Sub-Saharan Africa, which happened probably thousands of years later. So what you see here, incorrect. But then again, we are living in social justice world where history does not matter. Anyway, a multiversity team justice comes from the creative. Oh, for the love of God, more! The book of future kid quick, the future state flush, and the other. Oh, oh, so kid quick is the new 
Alphabet Watch, the discount flash, the pronoun discount flash, who has the Jimmy legs? I think it's Jimmy, I kind of forgot. Eh, oh well. Finally, this comes an auto feature of Pride Team variant covers of a number of the ongoing series, including an I don't care. Holy shit on a pickle. That's not a catechism on the Catholic on the uh, Don't care, don't care, don't care. Right! So basically, what you're looking here is the only straight character left that hasn't been retconned, changed, or swapped in any way still left at DC Comics Batman. And I'm pretty sure they are not going to change him much because it's probably the only character they have left that still makes them so much, some quantity of money. But rest assured, as soon as they can, they will race, uh, either race swap it, uh, gender swap it, or alphabet wash him. Especially now because they are going on hot desk or hot office type of deal because. DC Comics doesn't have an office anymore. They went so woke. They went broke. And now they don't have their own dedicated offices. <laughs> anyway. Don't forget to check out the Noob Review channel. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell button on her channel. Anyway. <clears throat> I think that's about it. So more comics for her to pull the pages out. And that goddamn fucking hell. I'm a glad to fucking die.